ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup here at the Comet Crater, where the uh, two and six casting comets are hosting the two and six Knox Redskins. Uh, I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by casting alum Hunter Shanelob. Hunter, welcome. How are we doing tonight? Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. It, uh, it I guess it's decided it's finally fall, and it got a little chilly today. And, uh, of course, you guys can see the uh, the uh, wheel marks out there on the field. Is It is a sloppy mess. Hunter, how's that going to affect gameplay tonight? Uh, running the ball, just cutting. Uh, getting vertical with the football would be pretty key tonight. Try to get as north-south as possible because anytime east-west, you're going to end up in the dirt. Well, uh, I do see uh, our other casting alum. Uh, Sam Duvall just uh, just got in here, so we're gonna have a uh, we'll have him up on the camera. Excited for that. Um, of course, got a chance to uh, look at John Harrell, and they're predicting a very one-sided football game here tonight. So uh, hopefully the Comets can, uh, can come up with some magic and uh, make some make some good moves out there tonight. Uh, now tonight was senior night here. Uh, quite a few seniors actually on uh, on Caston's lineup. Uh, of course, we've got Sam Smith, Grant Hickel, well Grant and Garrison Hickel. Uh, then we had several senior cheerleaders. Honestly, a very athletic senior class. You know, as we move forward towards graduation, I know uh, all of the coaches are going to be <laughs> looking forward to next year, trying to decide uh, what are we going to do with this uh, experience loss that we've got going on. Yeah, we graduated some sides up front in uh, Garrison Hickel and Dylan Gearhart this year. And then uh, Garrison's twin brother, Grant, who's played a little quarterback, little wings, played a little bit of everything on the offensive side this year. And then uh, number five, Sam Smith, he'll unfortunately this will be his last year with the Comets. Yeah, now looking over at the Knox roster, they actually uh, – looks like they've got quite a few sophomores and juniors. They do have a, a couple of seniors on their squad. Um, so, oh, hey, I can read really well. There are two columns. They're, they've got a big roster. I, I was a little confused. I was like, why are there so few? That's why. Two halves. It's still very. It's like it's a very junior-heavy team out there. Yeah, Knox graduated some really good football players last year. A couple of kids went and played at the collegiate level, um, and so they, while they have uh, depth on their roster and obvious roster size, as far as uh, talent and kids that have played, it's actually not as much as you think. Yeah, I, I do remember having the conversation last year about how they were a very senior-heavy squad. Um, and just as a little preamble for those of you uh, watching at home, uh, we have been fighting some technical gremlins, so uh, we're trying to keep an eye on our audio. But if we have some audio blurbs, uh, we will be working very hard to fix that uh, before it becomes uh, too... Uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Annoying? Too much of an issue. Yeah. There we go. I got you. Words are hard. We're learning. We'll get gooder. Red and white and white and red. I love it. Love to see it. Knox has a fairly new head coach as well as uh, Coach Hendricks recently took over the Winnemac football program. Uh, Russell Radicke has taken over for the Redskins and looking to uh, bring back that winning culture that they've had for years. Grant Yaden putting the football in the tee. Mid-distance kick. Good catch. 
returned down to about the 38-yard line as Knox will begin tonight's game from that that point on the field. That return stop by number five, Sam Smith. Over under on how many times tonight Blair's going to say his name is 312. <laughs> no bet, no bet. Knox lines up out of the gun. Dive down the middle to number 21. It's Gunner Krause. Wrapped up and brought down about the line of scrimmage, the 38-39 yard line. Good read by that D-line. Hopefully they uh, keep those glasses on and keep shutting them down with only a one or two yard gain. Number 12, Cohen Watson is playing quarterback tonight for the Redskins. He's back there. Now he's going underneath center. And a stack heavy to the right. Bring a man motion. 21. Gunnar Krause gets the ball. Brings it down. Taken down about the 45-yard line. Knox used to be a team that was able to formation you to death. They had 300 and <laughs> some formations. And so far, that's what we're seeing tonight. A little bit of gun. They've had some pistol in the past. Under center. Heavy load to the right. Well, one thing I noticed is that they called for that snap almost before the D-line was set. So that kind of a hurry-up offense can change the feel of a game. Quarterback keeps wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage, taken down by Grant and Garrison Hickel for the comments. I wouldn't want to hit by both of the Hickel boys at once. Yeah, because last I knew, Garrison was weighing in at 270. I uh, just saw uh, Grant Hickel trotting off of the field, and his uniform is no longer red and white. It's now brown and brown. Yeah, if you get hit, if you hit or get hit tonight, dive back down to Gunnar Krause. Met at the line of scrimmage. Once again, turnover on downs. Comets ball at the 45-yard line. Great stop there by the Comets D-line. Garrison Hickel met him. And for the first time this year, we have... He's not on roster. Never mind, folks. I'd love to tell you his name, but they don't have him on the roster yet. He was a transfer this year from Rochester, and this is his first week of eligibility for the Comets. He's wearing number two tonight. We have gotten quite a few new students within the last three weeks. Comets line up in kind of a new formation. They're still under center, but they have Sam Smith and two other backs directly behind him. Kind of a extended wishbone look as your traditional wishbone is within three to four yards, and the Comets appear to be lining up in that in five to six. Unfortunately, they did get called for a false start. Back up the line of scrimmage five yards. First and 15 for the comments. Ball on the opposite, 49. Quillen, Quillen Kelly. Quillen Kelly, name number two. Gotcha. Pitch outside to number five, Sam Smith, who has a block or two. Makes one man miss, brought down just in front of the line of scrimmage. Losing his footing in that sloppy field. Uh, <laughs> I just saw Sam had a zoomed in on on Smith and he is he is a mess. <laughs> like I was saying, this is a game where you just want to get north south. Much much dancing side to side, you're gonna end up in the dirt. Schaefer under center for the comments. Rolls out to his right. Has a man open, underthrown. Almost picked. Batted down by number 12, Gunnar Krause. Comets now third and long. Schaefer had the opportunity to put it on him, but as he went to deliver that ball, it just looks like his back foot slid out a little bit from him. 
Number 80, Jaden Wilson heading out onto the field. That's that's another thing. Running, uh, running the ball is, I mean, it's going to be hard regardless. But when you go to throw the ball and you have your quarterback rolling out, and then when he goes to plant to throw, that back foot's going to slide just as easy. Comments lining up. They got a snap. Delay of game. Comments come out and gun there. There's, there's a miscommunication between the far side receiver and the quarterback. Kind of a spread look. They had single to the left, twins to the right. Comets now face a third and 18. Not a good look here. Schaefer under center, twins to the right. Drops back to pass. Has a man opening it right through his hands. Oh, we have flag back in the pocket. Got a hold. Comments now face a fourth and 18. As they're trotting on the punt team. I don't even know that field's stable enough to punt with very well. <laughs> it's, it's not. Number 21, Gunner Krause is back deep, and number two, Trey McCown. To field for the, comp, or the Redskins. It's the uniforms. That's what we'll say. Snap. There's the punt. We kick got a away. We got a penalty on the kick. I believe they're going to call an illegal substitution against the comments. That was a stack of penalties against the Comets in that series. That's the easiest way to describe it. If it could go wrong, it went wrong. Knox is trying to hustle up to the line of scrimmage, but <laughs> there's a lot of confusion going on. Knox lines up again and gun. Gets a snap. Dive down to Kraus. Met by Evan Howard. Man, it just no one can get footing on both sides of the ball tonight. I counted eleven guys out there. He counted twelve. Locks a single high receiver to the left. Fakes the read option. Quarterback pulls it. Taken down by number 20, Evan Howard, once again. Howard just getting there. Brings Knox to a third and 10 situation, third and 11. We are still waiting for the first first down tonight. I think it might be a while. <laughs> Four minutes gone tonight. Still scoreless. Knox breaks the huddle, facing the third and 11. What if uh, have there been like six positive yards so far in four minutes? Yeah, something like that. Six or four. Knox shifting the running back to the opposite hip. Fakes the give. Has pressure. Throws the ball over the middle. Has a guy. Caught it and brought down about the 38-yard line. Big play there for the Redskins. 
tackle there. I think that was number 10, Josh Sullivan. Oh, that was two, Quillen. Couldn't quite see who made the play there. And there's that first first down of the evening. Comets lining up in a five-man front, five down linemen. Brings pressure, dived down to Kraus, met and brought down once again by number 20, Evan Howard, who's coming off Knox's edge, and nobody sees him. That's his third That's, or fourth time yeah. tonight. Uh, he just walked around the end of the line. And Evan's a junior for the Comets. So he's another one we'll have come back next year. Knox lines up and gun, running back to the right. Split, oh, sends him out. Twins to the right. Quarterback all alone. Quarterback power down the right side. Met by Sam Smith, and that was all the farther he got. <laughs> he did get uh, six yards or so on that, though. Knox line back up out of the gun. Gives down to Kraus one more time. Wrapped up and brought down, I believe, short of the goal to go. Fourth and two for the Redskins tonight. Comets face another pretty big fourth down. We'll see the kind of push they get from the D-line. That five-man front again has given Knox problems. Outside to Kraus. Shane Love turns it back in. I think he got it. I believe he fell forward for the first down. I uh, started to say, I don't see any question there. That's that's a Knox first down. First and 10 from the Knox, 26 yard line. Snap. Quarterback keeper off the left tackle. Pushed back, wrapped up by a bunch of comments. Watson was uh, kind of, that, that play started off a little rough for him. That snap was just a little wild. Uh, the fact that he was able to put some forward yardage on that to credit to him. Draws back to pass again. Pressure. Has a man. Delivers. Makes one man miss. Brought down by number two, Quillen. Knox now well inside the red zone. And that. Good carry there by uh, Gunnar Kraus. Gunnar Kraus is definitely getting a large workload tonight for the Redskins. Gunnar, a senior this year for the Knox Redskins, I think has gotten double-digit carries already tonight. Uh, 
Well, I think he's carrying around triple digit poundage of mud on his jersey. Dive back down to Kraus, wrapped up and brought down early by who's at the bottom of that? Sam Smith, I believe. I believe Evan Howard is actually on the bottom of that one too. Could be. Howard uh Howard uh, seems to have a taste for ball handler behind the line tonight. Guess he saw that on the menu and ordered it. <laughs> Four times over. Kraus to the left of the quarterback. Quarterback draws back to pass. Has a guy. Caught number 83. Not on roster for the Redskins. Pass complete to number 83. Pussy for a Redskins touchdown. And with almost 10 minutes gone in the first, finally a score on the board. Locks lining up to attempt a PAT. Snap is good, hold is down, kick is up. Kick is good. Knox takes the 7-0 lead at the 222 mark in the first quarter tonight here at the crater. And with that, well, they're setting up for that first uh, kickoff. After a score, we're gonna step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football here on RTC. TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to see that we still have audio after that break. Comets heading out on the field. We got uh, Sullivan and Smith back deep. Let's put the ball in the hands of five here a few times on this possession, see what he can give us. Deep kick. Caught by Sullivan. Has the edge if he can get there. Wrapped up and down at the 40 yard line. I, I think he was running into the same issue. He's uh, Sullivan's one of those really quick runners. Finds a hole, goes for it. Well, the field not advantageous to that tonight. That's a big word, Blair. Advantageous? Yeah, that was worth at least like 20 cents. Got on your word of the day calendar. <laughs> Schaefer under center for the Comets. Smith, Hickle, and Routabush directly behind him. Schaefer on the quarterback, keeper on the option. Gains about three or four yards before he's finally pushed down into the mud. The comments offensive line has to really get a big initial push. I know planting in the mud is difficult, but you got to you got to cut or something. You got to reset the line of scrimmage in your favor. Keeper again by Schaefer. First down for the Comets. Comets might stick with this this read option, run the midline option. Uh, the last few times Knox has been on defense, they're leaving the the A gaps completely open. And so that's allowing, if they do give Sam Smith to at least get four or five yards where he's met by the second level linebackers. And then Schaefer's just seeing a read he likes, so he's keeping it on the edge. Comments line back up on a wishbone. Dive down to Grant Hickle, who's met about the line of scrimmage. Look for the comments to run that play again here, hopefully on this possession. And look for Schaefer to keep that on the bootleg back out to his left. 
There are a lot of green ga grass to that side. Commons line up, twins to the right. Sam Smith behind him. Bring a man in motion. Keeper by Schaefer. Pitch outside to Routabush. Routabush met by four Redskins before going down. Unfortunately, he was trying a lateral motion, so I think he only got a yard or two forward. If that. Even though, even though it was stopped short, that was really, that was really good. Uh, triple option reads there by Landon. He made all the right reads, didn't hang on to the football too long. It was just, you know, Knox played, just played really good defense. That was really good high IQ football there by Schaefer. And that will end the first quarter. Uh, Knox Redskins 7, Cast and Comments 0. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and Comments Football here on RTC TV4. Here at the Crater tonight at the end of 1, Redskins 7, Comments 0, uh, Comet Crater Mud Bowl. I have not seen this field like this, and in all actuality, I have not seen this field since it, like this since it was like 2012, we played Clinton Central here in the sectional championship, and it was ridiculous. Like, there was just one. So the majority of the football was played between the hashes, and so that entire middle stretch of the hash was just all mud. So this is not the worst I've seen it, but it's up there. Well, you know, it's been raining for about three days straight. It was actually kind of funny that uh, last night uh, I had to change change a tire on, on the uh, – vehicle at the house and I was, it was raining so I asked I asked my phone how long it was going to rain and it said it's going to rain until 4 a.m. Saturday I said oh there we go big carry there by Grant Hickle who carried half of Knox's defense for a first down and chains are moving I thought he was uh, I thought he was just short he was just past we'll take it Boys can just keep moving those chains right to the end zone. Schaefer under center, Sam Smith behind him, twins to the left. Keeper by Schaefer. No, correction. Grant Hickle playing quarterback for the comments on that one. Gain of two. Echo under center. Keeper by, I believe it was Hickle, but I'm not going to say anything for sure. Schaefer. <laughs> See the added pause, because normally it's kind of difficult to sell, but the mud just sits on these numbers just right. I'm, I'm over here chuckling about the, uh, the referee wiping off the ball just to set it back down in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> Schaefer back in at quarterback. Twins to the left. Sam Smith behind him. Grant Hickle playing the left wing back. Dive down to Sam, who's just tripped up right at the line. There's just a pile there. Awaiting him. Not even a good one. Four and inches it looks like. I think it's you you let you let Landon Schaefer keep this one. You let him get a first down. Grant Hickel under center for the Comets. And he does just that. But Flag on the play. I think it was a false start Comets. We didn't have our far side receiver set. But that, I mean, that's just, you got to get out there and get set on a fourth and inches, and you know that you can't give up any penalties. You have to get out, you have to sprint out there, and get set. Yeah, Comets will give up five and try it again. Yeah. 
Now my question is, with this five yards, do you still go for it, or do you punt it away? No, you're on the you're on the 35 yard line. You're going for this one. In a game where you don't know if you'll be back down here again because of conditions, and you're going for this one. You gotta give you gotta give five a chance. Schaefer drops back to pass. Pass into Hatsumi coverage. Open. Did it complete? Knocked out real late by number 15 for Knox. It's a good look. I I don't know if you if you were watching in the backfield, the uh, fake by Sam Smith. It it actually. It was so obvious because he, he lost his feet. Yeah, Knox, I'm surprised the comments aren't throwing the ball more. Knox is not bringing a whole lot of pressure. Dive down to Kraus again. Met by a host of comments. Not even going to get you a number for that one. But um, I'm surprised the comments aren't going out of gun a little more, trying to get the ball out in the flat. I understand it's more difficult to run, but Knox is bringing no pressure when the comments are throwing the ball. Now, next time we go through the ball, they could bring eight, you know. But right. as of now. Dive down to Cross again, who has a hole. Oh, he's got slant. He's got an edge. Dragged down by number 19, Routabush. Just, just outside the 10-yard line. Big play there. <laughs> 19, Routabush chasing him down about at their... 20 yard line. Eight ten left here in the second quarter. And Caston will call a timeout. We're going to step away. Be back after this word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football live from the crater here on RTC back, TV. Ladies four. and gentlemen, uh, while the teams are taking the field, Hunter, do you have any scores from around the area? Yeah, Pioneer is up on North Judson right now, 16-0 after a big Bomer 65-yard touchdown run uh, with three minutes uh, down in the first quarter. Rochester is up 30-12 to on McQuanacaw. Uh, Halftime at the uh, – oh. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I was not paying attention to the play. <laughs> Halftime, LaVille is leading Culver 12-6. Pete Duvall with that stop just ahead of the line of scrimmage. Knocks out a gun. Dive down to Kraus. Met and brought back behind the line by number seven, Grant Hickle. It's a great number. Comet's really having good luck getting around the end of the D line or the O line here tonight and just coming right in the back door. That's props to Comet's the the Comet's front three, four guys on the D line because if you if you allow yourself to be blocked one on one, you're allowing someone else to advance to a backer or pick up the edge rusher. So if you have a guy that can eat up a double team or you have two guys that can eat up a double team, that's huge for your backers to be able to flow to the football as they have tonight. And that's exactly what's happening. What in the world? Um, a very unorthodox uh, throwing style from Knox's quarterback. But that's exactly what's happening on the front line is you have two D tackles that are taken up, you know, two guys on a double team. That's allowing the rest of your guys to just be able to actually play football and not be worried about uh, getting blocked, picking up 
flowing the football, picking up uh, routes coming out of the backfield just opens up so much. And that puts Knox at a fourth and ten situation. On the 15. So it only takes one big play. Or in, in this case, one 15-yard play. 16. Uh, good point. Shanlop has pressure, forces the quarterback to roll to his left. Landon Schaefer meets him, brings him down <laughs> way short of the first down. That'll be Comet's ball about the 13-yard line. Schaefer skied four feet on his heels. Did you? That was very. That was a very low impact hit. They both were kind of like <laughs> slowing down to avoid. Comets will take over, huddling in their own end zone. Six and a half minutes remain in the half. Schaefer under center. Reverse to Radebush, who's met down behind the line, brought down. We're going to have a no gain on the plate, second to ten. Knox is really opening up the entire the entire A gap, um, bringing pressure in the in the B and the C gap, and more or less hoping the comments just don't run a dive play right there. They are being really effective with pressure at B and then A and C collapsing in. I mean, that 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 dog pile was almost every man on the field. Schaefer under center, Sam Smith, Grant Hickel, and Kyle Radebush. Steve. Quarterback keeper. Exactly. That's what I was saying. In the A-gap. Got about four out of it. I kind of think it was a fumbled snap, and he just picked it up and took off. Common face a fourth and three, two and a half. See what kind of push they get here. Look for something in, you know, in the A and the B. I don't think this is a play where you try to get outside. They have not been successful going for an edge. Fumbled snap. Knox believes they have it. Number seven, Grant Hickel got the ball there. And just lost his footing, lost the ball, something or other. Knox retakes possession. Just inside the red zone. Ball in the 19. Knox in the gun. Kraus to his right. Dive down to Kraus, who has a hole, and he tri got tripped up by who's laying on the ground. We're going to credit him. Five, Sam Smith. Dived across again. Wrapped up by five Sam Smith and 64 Garrison Hickel. <laughs> Garrison, I like it. <laughs> Works.
Three minutes left here in the half. Seven to zero, Knox lead. Knox on the Knox has the ball at their own thirteen yard line. Dive again to Kraus, has a hole. Wrapped up and taken down by seven Grant Hickel. Big shout out to the cast and soccer team winning its first sectional in school history. Uh, unfortunately, they lost first round of regionals last night, but um, history was made for the Comets last week. Absolutely. Uh, and we'll have volleyball playing their sectional tomorrow. A very good cast and volleyball team going into sectional. And then uh, six Comets will be heading to Culver Academy to run in the cross country regional. So. And next week, our Comet football team travels to. Uh, South Central Union Mills to play first round of sectionals. It's tournament season in, in Indiana. Coming up on the two minute warning, second and goal, three to go. Look for Kraus to get a carry here. That's what I'd do. Dive down to Kraus. Sees the end zone. I believe you stopped short. Brought down about the two-yard line. Stopped by newcomer Quinlan Kelly. I think Knox is going to let this clock get milked out too as they go to score here. Almost down to the one minute mark. Knox under center. Quarterback keeper. Met at the line of scrimmage, but I think he got a big push to get across. It looks like they're going to stop him. Touchdown. Quarterback keeper. Number uh, 12, Cohen Watson. Gets it across for the Redskins to give them a 13 to zero lead. Knox signs up to attempt PAT. Snap is good, hold us down, kick is up, blocked by five Sam Smith. So with just over a minute left in the half, Redskins 13, Comets 0 will be back after these words from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football here at the Comet Creator on RTC TV. All right, Ford. welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comets are uh, heading out to line up to receive this kick. I better turn this off, Blair, before I start singing. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna leave singing to somebody else. Kick is up, caught by number seven, Grant Hickel. Looking for a Sees gap. a hole. Makes one man miss, another one miss. Ooh, I thought he was going to get outside there. Brought down about the 40 for the Comets. Of course, as much as anything, uh, this possession may, may be about clock control for the Comets because they will be receiving after halftime. Uh, I mean, obviously, a minute's long enough to... Moved the ball to the end zone. We saw it a couple weeks ago, but. Let's see who plays quarterback on this way. Look for Grant, exactly. Look for Grant Hickel to be under center here. Grant Hickel gets snapped. Pitch outside to Sam Smith. Smith finds a hole. Oh, geez. And Matt 
couple yards ahead of the line of scrimmage. Met by number 24, Logan Taylor, and Sam made him, made him feel that one. Timeout called by the Comets with 56 seconds left. Let's see if we can get some scores for you, wonderful ladies and gentlemen at home. So if you were coach, what strategy do you have cooked up that you just called this timeout to implement? This timeout's kind of to stop the clock, uh, see how the guys are feeling, you know. And it's not something you ask. It's just a vibe you get. If the guys are all locked in, eye contact, um, they just look like a general, like, a readiness. You're going to put the ball again in five's hands here, try to get a first down here, and then you're going to look to throw. Because um, at that point, you'll be under, you'll be under 40 seconds. And with receiving a uh, second half kickoff, you have an opportunity to tie it up in a matter of, you know, four four total game minutes. Um, give it to five here. Let them try to make a play, and then put the ball in the air. See what happens. And unfortunately, if you go in that that huddle and they're not they're not engaged, they just look disinterested in this half. Kneel it out, get in halftime, figure it out, and come back out. Oh, we've got five behind. Reverse to Routabush, who has a good block by Garrison Hickel. Brought down about the 45-yard line. That's enough to move the chains. Stopped there by Triska. He's a junior for Knox. Comet's a little slower getting to the line than I would have thought here. Schaefer back under center. Clock's down to 30. Rolls out to his left. Has a man. Seven Grant Hickel with the catch. Makes one man miss. Gets down to the 40-yard line. Clock is still running. 19 seconds. Timeout called by the Comets. I think this was merely just a stop the clock timeout. I believe the Comets have one timeout left. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't be afraid to call in and uh, request Creston's cross-country coach to go in the Comet dunk tank tonight that's going on. The girls basketball coach, Josh Douglas, just hopped in there. Or the Caston uh, track coach, uh, don't be afraid to call in and request him. I don't think this headset's waterproof. I'll go solo for that. <laughs> yeah, Blair, who are the runners that are that advance to the regional? Uh, so going to the regional tomorrow for the guys, we have Austin Degg, uh, Brady Evans, and Caleb Stinson. Of course, the cool part there is uh, Brady and Caleb are two-way regional qualifiers being on the soccer team as well and then for the ladies we have uh, uh, Delaney Strasser uh, Emma Stinson and, and Mackenzie Routabush there so go. looking looking forward to uh, watching them compete tomorrow Schaefer under center rolls out to his left has a guy way overthrown swatted down by uh, number 12 that was, just, that was just sailed by Landon. I mean, it's a wet ball. Nothing too worried. 16 seconds left. Commons face the third and five. I think one of these times you just got to trust Landon. Let him, let him take a three-step drop and see what he can do. We keep forcing him outside of the pocket. Here we go, Schaefer out of gun. The comments go twins right and left. Schaefer drops back to pass, screen pass. Grant Hickel picks up a block by his brother There's Garrison, a makes down. a man miss. Got get an out edge. Of bounds, get out of bounds, gets out of bounds, about the 21 yard line. Big play there by Grant Hickel. Had a bunch of good blocking. Six seconds left on the clock. 35 seconds on the play clock. 
Comets need to hurry up and get on the line because uh, the last thing they need right now is another delay of game call. No, you're, com you're comfortable with this play clock. You're going like, to get in the huddle, get them all figured out. You have, you have one shot at this, maybe two if you throw a quick get out of bounds or a quick drop. Schaefer under center for the Comets. Smith behind him. Brings a man in motion. Drops back the pass. Another screen pass. Sam Smith catches it, falls down. Clock runs out. So after two, Knox 13, Caston 0. And uh, we're going to... Wait, wait. There's... Two seconds on the clock because they're going to call it a drop, I believe. So they call it an incomplete pass. Add two seconds back to the clock for the Comets. Comets got one more shot at this thing. 21-yard line for the Comets. Swins to the right. Schaefer out of gun. Single high receiver to the opposite. Timeout knocks. Blair about sent us to commercial. We were going to miss it all. <laughs> I had to come back real quick. Uh, end of the first quarter, Triton was up 7-0 over Winnemac. Winnemac is currently the conference leader by themselves. Yeah, Winnemac's had quite the red-letter season. You know, uh, looking down on the field, it's really good seeing uh, number 67, Nick Townsend. He's out of his boot, broken ankle early, early oh. in the season. Yeah. And uh, it's good, good seeing him walking around. <laughs> Schaefer out of gun for the Comets. Two receivers high to the left. Oh, snap over his head. And he's just going to get wrapped up. That's a, that's a heck of a never say die attitude there. We're going to go in the half with a 13 0 Knox lead here at the crater. Well, uh, we're going to run some, uh, we'll run a couple words from our sponsors, and we'll be back here in uh, 15 minutes or so. Stay tuned, fill up your refreshments, and we'll be back after a bit. You're watching Comets Football here on RTC TV. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm really glad to see that we've still got audio. Uh, right at a minute, they're uh, teeing up the football. Comets will be uh, receiving, and as you can see, uh, it's not just the field that's wet now. Kick is deep. Sullivan receives a kick for the Comets. Has a lane to the outside. Has a block. He's going to get pushed out about the 49-yard line. When they skied 10 yards after they hit. Comets take over possession. 47 yard line. Break the huddle. Schaefer going to play start at quarterback. Second half for the Comets. <laughs> Trips right. Sam Smith behind him. Dive down to Sam. A 
Thought they were going to get Sam Smith there for leaving a little bit early. Got a second and three. Trips right look again. Schaefer dive down to Smith. Takes a few guys with him to all right down to the marker. I believe he's going to be stopped just short. Number five, Smith on the carry. Got a yard to go. Michael by a hole in the drive of Redskins. Third and one. Comet's got a little movement, so I'm working for him. Same trips right look. Rolls out to the right. Screen pass thrown behind him. Makes a few guys miss. Wow, he's still up. He could go. Nope. He moved the chains, though. Almost a busted play to start. And the rain and a few good moves later, he picks up first down for the Comets. That's the third screen pass the Comets have thrown in the last minute and a half of gameplay. A couple there to end the, the first half and then this one right here. Comets back in the wishbone. Schaefer under center. Schaefer somehow pulls that out. It was a read option that Sam just didn't want to let go of. The rain is coming down here at the crater. Well, if it didn't count as soupy in the first half, it will here before long. <sighs> Sam Smith about broke loose on that one. Yeah, have fun running tomorrow, Blair. Oh, yeah, we've already gotten an advisory about the uh, soupy nature of the course. <laughs> Hope everybody remembers their spikes. You got an idea. I gotta say though, the comments have been practicing out in the rain all week, and I think that uh, what happened there in the first half is that they just didn't feel at home. So they're uh, making some good progress now. Dive down, Grant Hickle picks up a yard or two before being brought down. That should be a fourth and one, Ooh, fourth and inches. First down, Comets. They gave it to him real late. Comets are going to get the first down and 10 at their 20 yard line. 21 yard line, 20 and a half. Schaefer under center. Trips right with Howard, Hickle, and Martin. Sam Smith behind him. Dive down to Smith, who just is met by the wall that is <laughs> the offensive and defensive line tonight. He still got two yards on that. That's that's a really good quality of um, a high quality back has a quality of um, there you go I worded it right a high quality back has a quality that is when you get hit you fall forward because uh, you if you fall forward you're gonna pick up an extra yard or two every time and Sam Smith has that quality. Trips right look. Smith and Hickle behind Schaefer still. Bring him in a motion. I think you're going to get a legal shift on the comments. No. Oh. Time out. Comments. Well, with that, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Comments Football here on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just over four minutes gone here in the third quarter. Uh, comments still scoreless tonight. On a rip. Uh, and uh, 
looking to keep the momentum going after this timeout inside their own red zone. Schaefer under center. Quarterback keeper. If you remember early on in the first half, Blair, they ran that same thing, and it was a give, and I said, look for Schaefer to keep that. And there it is. Yeah, chipped off several more yards towards the uh, second chain. Columbus now face a third and four. Ball at about the 13, 14-yard line. Dive down to Smith, who picks up hard-earned yards, gets him down inside the 10 to about the 7-yard line. That'll be a first and goal for the Comets. Rain's coming down hard enough. It's a little hard to see the, the uh, down marker. Crowd's still excited to be here, though. That's what counts. Oh, yeah. Especially high school kids are always fired up to be in the rain. Dive to Smith again. No. Keeper, Schaefer, makes a man miss. Gets down about the five, six, six, five yard line. Number four, Schaefer on the carry. Tackled by number 83, Bussey. They're going to spot him at about the six, it looks like. Schaefer under center. Sam's put behind him. Trips right. Reverse down to, I think, 21 Grant Yaden was the ball carrier on that play. Picked up a few good and hard-earned yards to give the comments. It's like two to go. 20 Evan Howard on the carry. Third and goal from the Comet four-yard line. Sam Smith behind Schaefer in the wishbone formation. Reverse down to Howard again. Number 20, Howard on the carry. We're going to face a fourth and four to go, goal to go. We'll see what the Comets dial up here at the five-minute mark in the third quarter. Dive down to Grant Hickel who finds pay dirt. Touchdown comments, Grant Hickel on the reverse. Lays out as he gets his legs taken out, gets the ball across the goal line to make it 6-13 to 13 here with the five-minute mark here in the third quarter. And that's what the comments needed. Uh, I know that they were – I'm sure they were frustrated going into the locker room, uh, had that, that two seconds given back on the clock and just had a bad snap right before the, right before the half. Yeah, that was a real – uh, momentum killer as I thought they might have had a shot at the end zone. Comets line up to go for two. Trips right. Sam Smith behind him. Smith loses his footing. Reverse down to Routabush. Not 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 the play call you dial up there. Six to thirteen. Knoxley at the four forty seven mark here in the third. At the crater. And as Comments will set up to kick off. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. 
You're watching Casting Comments Football here on RTC TV. And Four. welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Comments. Setting up to kick off to the Redskins. Just under five minutes left here in this third quarter. Hunter, I heard a rumor it might rain tonight. What do you think? I heard snow. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> hey, it's Indiana. Give it time. Grant Yaden, kickoff for the Comets. Onside kick. Oh, it was a good kick. It was just out of bounds. They're going to call illegal procedure on the Comets, which more or less on kickoff just means they kicked it out of bounds. So Knox will get the football at out of bounds plus five, minus five, because it'd be minus five. It, yeah, <laughs> plus five yards. Five yards to the Knox advantage. Knox out of gun. Fumble. Ball is on the ground. I believe Knox recovered. Very long. Well sustained drive for the comp to start the half. A big stop here on defense and get out of the quarter and go in the fourth quarter with possession of the football would be huge. Yeah. I think weather conditions absolutely kind of changed changed the face of, of this game and Kraus breaks down, makes a few guys miss, fumbles the football. Comments fall on it. And, and that's, uh, once again, newcomer Quinlan Kelly covering up that fumble for the Comets. Right place, right time. And when you see ball, you best fall on it. Well, with a uh, third of the third left, Comets will uh, regain possession. And oh. <laughs> Comets fumble on that. That that football is getting slick. No, we definitely got an offside goal. Yeah, our right tackles. I forgot. I think he forgot he's playing football. <laughs> Got a first down and 15 for the Commons. Schaefer under center. Sam Smith behind him. Troops right look. Howard, Martin, Hickel. Rolls out. Howard is there. Makes the grab. Brought down. Loses the ball out of bounds. Second 15 for the Comets. Ball's going to be down on their own 37 yard line. Shave front or center. Sam Smith behind him. Wing T look. Brings Howard in motion. Reverse to Hickel. Makes one man miss. Runs two over. Gets down to a manageable third and seven for the Comets. Ball's going to be down at the 
mm, six yard line. Fantastic look there by Hickel. I kind of feel like an auctioneer when I just get going. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Schaefer under center. Trips left look with Yaden, Howard, Hickel. Pitch outside to Sam Smith. We're going to get another illegal procedure penalty, I do believe. Comments have given up so much yardage on penalties here tonight. Thomas now face a less manageable third and 12. Troops left look. Schaefer rolls out, throws a screen pass. Hickel receives a screen pass, runs man. the man over. Loses See, feet, we, loses the football. We can't get in the mindset of it. Wor it worked once. Let's run it nine more times. That is, as a, as a call, play caller, that is a hole you do not want to put yourself in. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Evans out there with my umbrella. Evans out with the what? Umbrella out okay. that door. Fourth and eight. Collins line up the punt. Good punt. Punt's going to be down about the 15 yard line. Good punt there by Landon Shaver. Well, Comet's defense needs to uh, step up and hold as we roll up to the two-minute warning here in the third quarter. Gunnar Krauss with the carry. Met behind line scrimmage on number five, Sam Smith. Be nice to uh, cover up another one of them fumbles down by that part. Absolutely, let's force a fumble. Well, that that football is not getting any grippier out there. Five man front with a backer lined up to the left comes off the edge, forces quarterback to keep. Finally taken down by, I believe that's 65, Kane Shane Lobb. Uh, there, the announcer is crediting it to number two. Football on the 25 yard line. Third and about two. Give to Kraus. I believe he's going to pick up the first down for the Redskins. 57 seconds left here in the third. Man, the rain is just not letting up. Uh, before uh, Sam went back up to the camera, uh, he showed me the radar, and he wasn't excited about Fumble it. Fumble snap. Kane Shanelaw buries the quarterback as he goes to stand back up. 
They're going to face a very long second and 17. 15 seconds on the, or in the quarter. Knox is just going to let this one run out. Knox leads the comments here 13 to 6 as we begin the fourth quarter right after this. Well, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors, come back for fourth quarter action, and uh, we'll see what the Comets can do with a fresh 12 minutes here on RTC TV4. Yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to go into the fourth quarter here at the Crater. Uh, Low-scoring game and very wet conditions out on the field. On the other end of Fulton County, Rochester does not have any low-scoring game. as They're up 44-12 to 12 over McQuanaqua. Triton is down 7-21 to 21 against Winnemac. The last Pioneer update was still 16-8 to 8 them over North Judson. And Tippecanoe New Valley was up 28-6 over Southwood. Well, some good football from around the region. Oh, well, we're trying to – the number one game in the state of Indiana tonight – is uh, number one, Center Grove, and number two, Cathedral are playing at Cathedral. And that's got a lot of Division One talent. It was 14 to six. Center Grove up, last I knew. Well, there's our snap. And running down the ball carrier. We'll go third and long now. Evan Howard continues his big defensive day. Approaching probably the double digit tackle mark for the evening. Third and 17 here for the Redskins. Backed up at their own 20 yard line. Knocks back to pass. Looks at the go route. It is short and way out of bounds. Face a fourth and 17 inside their own 20. I'd be hard to not punt here. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to have some really sincere faith in your offensive line to say, uh, let's convert these downs. Gunnar Krause back to punt for the Redskins. We send Grant Hickel and Evan Howard back deep. Punt is away, and the comments are just going to let it drop. Get away. Yeah. <laughs> and so that punt landed at about the 46-yard line. Good field position for this Comets offensive line. 11 minutes here left in the game. Comet ball. It's really hard to not see the fact that the Comets are completely in control of this game right now. Of course, conditions are not improving, so that can still go, they can still go either direction. Schaefer under center. Collins line up in the wishbone. They're going to finally catch Sam Smith for leaving a little bit early. Going to back the comments up for a first and 15. I don't think we've had a drive tonight where we have not been penalized. I think you're correct. Blair, I believe we're on the bottom of the bracket, so I think this is our last game commentating together for the season. This, uh, that's, that's probably accurate. 
Unless we get a... Schaefer back to pass. Looks for a screen. Has Grant... Oh! oh. Grant Yeh lets that one fall right through his hands. Anyway, as I was getting ready to say, unless they tap us, of course, to travel for sectional coverage. That is, I mean, is that a thing? Uh, that's occasionally a thing. And, of course, worst-case scenario, basketball season is just around the corner. Grant Hickle makes a few guys miss for being wrapped up by every linebacker on Knox's roster. That was a lot of motion for no yards gained. Now Comets find themselves in a third and 15 situation. Dive down to Smith, very late handoff, makes a few guys miss, gets down to about the first yard marker. We're going to have a fourth and nine. Number five, Sam Smith on the carry. Back will buy number Comes line up to punt. Fake. Makes a few guys miss. Goes down about six, seven yards too short. Number seven, Grant on the I don't know that that was meant to be a fake. Uh, I think that was a slippery snap, and he did the best he could with it. Knox comes out and a modified pistol look. Kraus to his right. Dive down to Kraus. Gets a few guys. Great tackle by Kelly. Gain of about a yard on that play for Knox. Just under nine minutes left to play here tonight. Timeout, Knox. Well, with that, we'll step away for another word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football here on RTC TV. And four. welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Knox only picking up about a yard on that last or that last play. Coming back out of the field, they're going to try it again. Second and nine football on the 49 yard line. Dive down to Kraus. Has a hole. Met by a few guys. I'm trying to see what the final. I saw he was stopped there by Quinlan Kelly. I don't know. I didn't see still, who the assist was. Still waiting. Uh, Sullivan finished him. Third and four now. Yeah. 
Maybe three. I can't count good. Uh, we're looking at about a third and four. Three and a half. Dive down to Kraus. First down, Knox, I believe. They're moving the chains. Clock down to the 7.30 mark here in the fourth. Knox breaks the huddle. Nine seconds left on the play clock. Quarterback power right up the gut met by Sam Smith. And yeah, that's all the farther he's going to get. I mean, at this point, Knox can really just do careful play clock control and really just chip away at the Comets chance to come back. And Redskins lingo, give the ball to Gunnar Kraus. Oh, my. Oh, and he's got an open field. Touchdown, Knox, number 12, their quarterback. One second with the name. Cohen Watson for his first score of the night. That gives them a 19 to six lead. Knox lining up to go for two. If Kraus got the ball, I wouldn't be shocked. Quarterback power met again by uh, Garrison Hickel. Uh, the final is Rochester 44, McConaughey 12. That's a, that's a pretty good spread. North Judson just scored again to go. Uh, they still trail 16 to 14. Pioneer. This guy just read one of his Whatever. <laughs> Cathedral. Center Grove football game. Center Grove ended up winning 21 to 6. <laughs> like I said earlier, a lot of Division One talent playing in that game. You know, for a 1-2 a ranked game, that actually is a pretty wide spread on that score, a little wider than I would have anticipated. It was 7-6 to six for the longest time. <laughs> a couple late touchdowns put uh, Center Grove up. Very defensive. Uh, Winnemac is up 27-7 to seven over Triton. And there's a kick back to Sam Smith. Little bobble there. As a whole, whole collapses. Number five, Sam Smith on the return. Tackled by number sixty-five. Six minutes, twenty-three seconds left here in the in the game. Correction, number sixty-one. Brandon Manuel. Well, Blair, your thoughts so far? Um, it gonna rain. <laughs> uh, that. <laughs> That the conditions on the field, I think, have just completely changed the face of the game uh, here tonight. And um, 
matter of fact, the second half has looked so different from the first half. Uh, I mean, how many fumbles have we seen? How many, uh, you know, whether it's on the snap or, you know, and we see guys just their feet sliding straight out from under them. It's, it's completely changing the, the football game being played down there. So, Absolutely. Um, hopefully the Comets are able to capitalize on that. They've got half a quarter to play, and they've got two touchdowns to make up. We just got to the six-minute mark here in the fourth. Comets jog out facing a second and ten. Ball on their 38-yard line. Sam Smith fumbled the ball. Recovers the ball. Five minutes left. Those are words that uh, we don't usually put together. Well, I, I wouldn't put that one on Sam. Uh, once again, that, uh, you know, the, the ref's trying off that football, and it's like, but why, though? Uh, I'm not even sure that the towel that he's drying it with is dry anymore. Uh, probably not. <laughs> it's a formality. They're just cleaning it. And we've had a timeout call, so we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned as we finish up this game here at the Crater on RTC TV. All right, four. welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Five minutes left to play here tonight. Comets down 6-19. to 19. And uh, just everybody having trouble getting traction and keeping a hold of the football as the rain continues to fall here tonight. Final over for Winnemac is 27 to 7 over Triton. First undefeated uh, conference season for Winnemac ever. Deep shot down to Yaden, just lost it. Fourth and 14. Yeah, this year was the first year ever Pioneer has lost a Hoosier North Athletic Conference football game. Wow. Wow. Yep. The traveling trophy started in Royal Center, and it stayed put clear until uh, week three of this year. Now, how long is uh, how long has Pioneer been in the Hoosier North Conference? The Hoosier North Athletic Conference was formed my eighth grade year, so this is its sixth year of its existence. Turnover on downs. Redskins take possession of it at the 30. Levi Martin tries to make a few guys miss there before being wrapped up and brought down. It, this is just not the field to try to do anything fancy. This is this is now gross motor skills football. <laughs> I you just you're you're not turning on a dime. You're not stopping on a dime. You're not doing a lot of juking and spinning. You just you got to try to move forward. And we've commented in previous weeks about the athleticism that we're starting to see out of this Comets team. We've got guys who can find holes, who can make opportunities. Um, they've got some serious agility, and it's just that the conditions here tonight don't favor that style of play. No, absolutely not. And that's all there is to say with it. Uh, uh, th these these conditions are starting to favor wall of flesh pushing forward. <laughs> I mean, not not even. Uh, approach the four minute mark here in the game. If two more knocks, first downs, and that is probably a wrap for this Comets team tonight. I mean, I think that the play that would have much success goes back to the. Uh, the wedge that you guys used to run. <laughs> what my colleague is referring to is my junior year, we ran a double wing. So you had two tight ends, two wing backs, a fullback, and a quarterback. And we we literally just 
run in a wedge formation. Um, hand it off to the fullback and then number 40, Gavin Hickel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd hand it off and as the quarterback, I was allowed to push then. So I was, I'd was i push his back and it was good for about three, four yards of carry. <laughs> I, I imagine that uh, he got at least his fair share of concussions out of that play. No, he didn't ever get hit at a pie. It was always ankles. Sam Duvall was playing center. Caden Boyette was playing guard. We had some size there. Yep. <laughs> Boyette's football career sadly got cut short um, as he transferred to a, a 3A school for football, and the knees couldn't hold up after a while. As a runner, I can sympathize. Well, you put 330 pounds of man together and something might give. Dive down to Kraus. Makes a few guys miss. Gets wrapped up by Dylan Gearhart and drove into the dirt. Mud, I should say. He managed several yards after first contact there, though. So. Knox heading to the line of scrimmage as the play clock passes 10 seconds. Give it down to Kraus. Wrapped up, brought down two yards in front of the line of scrimmage. Fourth and four. Field position, yards to go. There's absolutely no reason to kick this one away. No. Fourth down and four for the Redskins. Try to draw the defensive line off sides. Timeout, Knox. As we approach the 236 mark here left in the fourth quarter, Kasson trailing 6 to 19. And as they go into their huddles, we will take a moment to step away for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football here on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just outside of the two-minute warning, Comets trail 6-19. to 19. Pioneer just got a four-yard touchdown run from Brock Robertson to put him up 22-14 with six minutes left. You know, aside from that uh, loss to Winnemag, Pioneer's still having a pretty good season. Absolutely. They're looking to make a push here as they change quarterbacks again going into sectional. Caleb Sweet playing some quarterback for the Panthers. Has a man on a corner route. Picked up. Spoke dropped. Just a little too soon there. Comets may not have gotten the pick, but they do take possession at about the 25-yard line. Fade route. Sullivan has a chance. Oh. Another drop by the Comets. Good ball there by Landon Schaefer. Good pass coverage there by number 85, Alex Triska, as well.
Schaefer in the gun. Trips left look. Tip pass. Batted down. Thomas now looking at third and ten. Trips left look. Schaefer back to pass. Looks at that go route again. Sullivan has another chance. Fourth and ten. Approaching the two minute mark here. Schaefer coming out and gun. Trips left look with Yaden, Howard, and Hickel to the left. Screen pass set up by Grant Hickel. Makes a few guys miss. Picks up about six or seven yards for being be, tripped up. He'll be about two yards short. Dive down to Kraus. Stop. Wrapped up about the line of scrimmage by number five, Sam Smith, number 20, Evan Howard. One minute, 45 seconds remaining. Really has been a big defensive night for Evan Howard, though. Huge defensive night. I'm sure he's at or if not close to the double-digit tackle mark. Applied pressure all night. <laughs> Quarterback keeper on the option, wrapped up by 65, Kane Chain Lob. Third and seven now for the Redskins. Just add a minute to play. Twelve seconds on the play clock as the Redskins take the line of scrimmage. Dive down to Kraus. Tripped up by five Sam Smith. 31 seconds remain. Timeout called. And we're going to step away now for a word from our sponsors. You're watching Comets Football here on RTC TV 4. All right. Half a minute left on the game clock here tonight. Knox looking at about fourth and two. Give to Kraus. Picks up the first down and some. Stop there by number 10. And I believe Knox should just kneel it out. Should in a perfect world. But they could run another play. Yeah. 
And Knox is just going to let it run out. Comets lose the season finale, 6-19, to the conference opponent Knox Redskins. Valiant effort by the Comets here tonight. Uh, unfortunately, uh, those weather conditions, they were able to use them to their advantage for part of the evening, but uh, also uh, caused some traction issues, caused some grip issues, and uh, at the end, weren't able to overcome. Well, we thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we had uh, Hunter Shane Love on the other headset. Appreciated as always. Yeah.